There is no question in my mind that it is the greatest franchise in sports history, and it always will be, and that it will be back on top again. I'm a Dallas Cowboy, and part of me will always be a Dallas Cowboy. Welcome to the show with Reese Davis, I'm Carl Ravitch, number three, Alabama, number 12, Marquette, number 15, Michigan State, Tom Coughlin, Dick LeBeau, Dave Campo. What do they all have in common? They all got the heave-ho today. Yeah, those three NFL coaching casualties, not quite as surprising as the basketball, but tis the time to ring out the old, ring in the new, and in Big D, they await the ball to drop on 2003. You're the tuna? Tuna. Here's Ed Werder. Hiring Bill Parcells would permit Jerry Jones to live up to a proclamation that seemed erroneous. The Cowboys would always have the best there was when it came to head coaches, he said. In recent years, that's been an empty claim. Not since Jimmy Johnson of the Cowboys been coached by someone the players actually respected and feared. Jones established himself as the authority figure. That concept was an abject failure. Proving he'll do anything to win, Jones prepares a different approach upon firing Dave Campo on Monday. I've been looking at the circumstances that have been involved with this team since uh, uh, Dave became the head coach. This change is more about a change in philosophy. Again, not about what Dave didn't do. What Campo did was complete a third consecutive 5-11 and season on Sunday. It concluded with a dismal performance in Washington. It came after several fringe players left the team hotel following curfew the night before and others who missed the team bus Sunday morning. Further evidence that the Cowboys require a coach who controls the fate of the players. So desperate is Jones that he's prepared to do something he never has before, hire an already successful NFL head coach. I've explored discussions with two individuals who I feel are very qualified to be considered for this position. These men are Bill Purcells and Dennis Green. Both of these men have proven track records of success as NFL head coaches, which I believe is important for the Dallas Cowboys at this time. To finalize any deal with such a head coach, Jones would have to concede power and perhaps change his own behavior. For years, insiders at Valley Ranch have attempted to convince the owner not to be in the coaching box during the game, interacting with players, feeling it undermine the authority of the head coach. Jones has always flatly rejected such advice. His reaction to any request by Parcells that he stay out of the coaching box might well determine whether Jones really is interested in doing anything to win again. At Valley Ranch, I'm Ed Werder, ESPN. And NFL analyst Chris Mortensen joins us now from Atlanta. Mort, thanks for being with us in what has been a very busy day for you. I know that already. You'd look at Bill Parcells. He hasn't taken this job yet. Why, if I'm a Cowboy fan, would I say this isn't going to be Tampa Bay all over again? <laughs> Well, you know, I, I'll say this, uh, just through this process, I've detected a, a different par of cells. I, I detect a guy who uh, has a void in his life. I mm -hmm. think this past year, uh, he's gone through some personal things. I think he just doesn't feel fulfilled. Uh, I know he's enjoyed his time at ESPN and what have you, but when you sit across from him every Sunday morning and have breakfast with him, you sense that you're talking to a coach, not a retired coach. Right. And I really believe he has the desire to do that again, although, uh, what we have here is a four-year contract in place, all the major hurdles cleared except one, and that is Bill Parcell saying, yes, I want to be the coach of the Dallas Cowboys. I think he's going to do it. Sitting next to Buck Showalter for a full season, you get the impression these guys right. are still coaches. Let me ask you this, more: If he does take this, and I've heard you use the word imminent before, there seem to be a bunch of sort of walls up that prohibit coaches from making the same significant moves that they were able to make a couple years ago. What will he inherit? How long will it take? Now, I, I'm I know that he's that stuff's been running through his mind because you know he inherits a team at a pretty good defense. Uh, you know maybe not as the, the size of players that, that Bill likes a lot on his defense. A pr pretty good defense and a, and a great defensive rookie over there in Roy Williams, a lineman and Greg uh, Ellis is pretty good. But obviously on the offensive side of the ball, you just got to look at the quarterback position. Chad Hutchinson might be a young quarterback to develop, but I got to believe Parcells will bring in. Uh, another quarterback to compete with Hutchinson, uh, certainly a veteran. Uh, and then there's the Emmett Smith issue, and I really don't know what Bill's going to do on that end. I just, I just feel like Emmett Smith's era in, in Dallas is probably over. Listening to Parcells on that Sunday countdown show, quarterback, he made a point to say you got to have a quarterback. 